Hello everyone and welcome back to Math Eye at Home. I'm Megan and today we're going to be learning how to make some very fancy hotels for bugs to stay in. Yes, you really can make a hotel for bugs and it's not even very hard. A bug hotel is just really a collection of a bunch of small materials for bugs to hibernate or rest or lay eggs in. Not only do they look really cool, but they help provide important habitat to support bugs that are really struggling with having habitat, such as pollinators, especially when we put them in places where lots of people live, such as in our backyards in our neighborhoods. Pollinators are important because they do a really valuable service for us and the rest of the natural world. Pollination. When pollinators like bees get hungry, they go looking for nectar, which is something that flowers produce. And when bees go to the flower to collect the nectar, they get the pollen that the flower also produces all over their fuzzy bodies. And then as they fly around from flower to flower collecting nectar, they spread the pollen everywhere they go. When this spreads, pollen between flowers of the same kind, this pollinates them. This is the process that allows plants to produce new seeds, which will grow new plants as well as fruits. Without plants, we would no longer be able to eat fruits and vegetables, and all of the natural life that we see around us right now would die. That's why it's so important that we support the bugs that help fulfill this really important natural service. Other good insects that aren't pollinators might also use your bug hotel. Ladybugs, which are not only cute, but also a beloved insect for gardeners, will eat pest insects off of garden crops. These are another insect which really love to stay in bug hotels tells as well, as long as we provide them the right habitat to rest in. This is why many gardeners love to place a bug hotel somewhere in their yard near their garden to help keep their garden free of pest insects like aphids. In that way, insect hotels are not only beneficial for the insects that love to stay on them, but they're also really helpful for us humans that need the insects around us. And luckily, they're also really easy and fun to build. To complete this craft, you'll need some recycled tin cans or plastic water bottles that you've cut in half. You'll also need preferably a hot glue gun or alternatively Elmer's glue and some string. Finally, you'll need to forge some materials outside. So I'll show you what to look for first and then you can head outside and get your own materials. Now we really need to make sure that we provide lots of different textures for all different kinds of bugs to stay at our hotel. There's four main items that we should definitely try to look for. One, pine cones, which can be found at the base of coniferous trees. Two, flower heads or dried grasses, which you'll find in stands of tall plants or grasses like this. Some sticks, three, which you can really find pretty much anywhere where there's woody plants growing around. Just keep your eye on the ground and look for small sticks. And four, hollow reeds, which we can usually find growing near stream beds or other bodies of water. All of these materials will help create lots of different habitat types to accommodate the preferences of all bugs. For example, the holes created by these hollow reeds are the perfect spot for some species of bees to lay their eggs. And the sticks are the perfect habitat for our ladybugs. So once we have collected all of our materials, it's time to head inside and start building our bug hotel. I'll be using four tin cans, one can for each different type of material. As I mentioned, you could also cut a plastic water bottle in half like this, but I'll definitely be using tin cans as they're a little bit sturdier and plus I eat a lot of beans. The assembly for this is really not hard. We're just going to glue our forged materials into our tin cans, like this. Like I said, I would make sure to keep your materials organized so each specific type of material goes in one tin can. I also ran into one small problem because I didn't harvest quite enough hollow reeds, so I decided to use some recycled paper bags to roll up little strips into small round cylinders and then glue this around my reeds and stick them in my can. And it's sort of a happy accident because I actually like how there's different sizes of hollow reeds in here for the bugs to use. It takes a bit of time so it's good to go slow, make sure you use enough glue, and give your materials enough time to dry. Here's what mine looked like when it was all ready to go. Once you've done this, it's time to get your cans together. You can either put twine around each can individually and hang them separately, or put twine around all four cans after you've glued them together and hang them all together. This is what I'm gonna do, and I'm also gonna use a little bit of glue on the twine to make sure that 
it stays on the cans even in the wind. The most important thing here is to make sure that everything is really secure. We're gonna be leaving this outside hanging, so we wanna make sure that it's sturdy and not going to fall apart in the wind and the other elements like rain. Remember that some of the materials we used aren't natural, so we don't wanna accidentally litter if this all gets blown away in the wind. And once my bug hotel is all secured and ready to go, I'm gonna go hang it in my backyard. So here's what my bug hotel looks like when it's all done. I love it because not only does it look super cool, but I got to put some recycled materials to good use and make a new home for some beneficial insects. As citizens of the earth, we get to enjoy the fruits of insects labor, literally, each time we eat fruits or go outside and enjoy the natural world. That's why it's important for us to care for the earth back and support the systems and processes that have sustained this environment for millions of years. This craft has the added benefit of using up some materials that would otherwise take even more energy to recycle or sit in a landfill somewhere. So I think this craft is a bit of a win, win, win. And I hope that you enjoyed building this with me today. If you love learning about pollination with me today, make sure you come check out the trails and gardens here at Mathai to see pollination and work this spring. I hope that you come visit soon.